opinion. May Pampor, a fountain of affordable quality education. By Newsdesk. By Sahil Shariftan Bhatt. The heights by great men reached and kept were not attained by sudden flight, but they, while their companions slept, were toiling upward in the night. The students of May Pampor consistently excel in every board exam. Their latest achievement occurred on June 9, 2023, when J.K. Bose announced the results of the Class 12th board exams. May Pampor proudly obtained an astounding total of 91 distinctions and secured two remarkable positions. Offering Shafi secured the seventh position in the science stream with an impressive score of 490 marks, while Karat Ul Farooq achieved the seventh position in the commerce stream with a score of 485 marks. Education is often likened to light, illuminating the path towards knowledge, wisdom and understanding. It is a fundamental requirement for personal growth and development, a privilege that not everyone has access to. Education is not merely a mundane task but a mark of distinction, a badge of honor that distinguishes individuals who have embraced the opportunity to learn. It adds a certain charm to one's personality, enhancing their overall appeal. Furthermore, education serves as a means of earning, opening doors to various career opportunities. It empowers individuals with the ability to perceive the world with a broader perspective, granting them two more invisible yet perceptive eyes that can decipher the information inscribed on the pages of books and documents. In summary, education stands as the ultimate differentiating factor between human beings and animals. According to a recent report, the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir boasts an impressive number of approximately 30,000 schools, each dedicated to nurturing the minds of countless children of the said region. These institutes strive to provide the best education within their means, but amidst them stands a truly exceptional institute, May Pampor. This unique school shines brightly amidst its peers, offering affordable yet quality education to children hailing mostly from lower middle class and impoverished families. Mr. G. M. Bott, a respected local resident, serves as the chairman of this esteemed institute and Mr. Bashir Ahmed Masoudi is the dedicated secretary who breathes life into the very essence of this fascinating institute. Mr. G. H. Mode Lone serves as the executive secretary, working tirelessly alongside the chairman and the secretary to ensure the continuous flow of intellectual nourishment at MEI Pampor. A key figure in the school's administration is Mr. Tariq Ahmad Bhatt, the devoted coordinator who plays a crucial role in maintaining the school's operations. Ms. Zenit Shah, Mr. Syed Shabir Ahmad, and Ms. Tahira serve as principals, each leading different wings of the institute, ensuring quality education for the students. Lastly, Mr. Mushtaq Ahmed Malik undertakes the important responsibility of being the controller of examination, ensuring fairness and accuracy in evaluating the students' academic progress. With the help of over 200 teaching and non-teaching staff, this remarkable institute currently imparts education to 2,500 students, quenching their thirst for knowledge and nurturing their intellectual growth. With an unwavering commitment to excellence, May Pampor employs an exceptional teaching faculty that embodies the true spirit of selfless dedication. Motivated not solely by monetary gains, these teachers find pleasure in teaching, driven by a sense of service to the higher power, God. May Pampor embraces children of all faiths and backgrounds, casting aside distinctions based on color, creed, or religion. In fact, individuals such as Mr. Rajendra Singh Bali, Rakesh Raina, Raju Rana, and Aman Rana, who do not identify as Muslims, have wholeheartedly offered their honest services to this remarkable institute. Their positive contribution to May Pampor will never be forgotten. It stands as an inspiring embodiment of democratic values, fostering a sense of unity and diversity and promotes communal harmony. Demonstrating its commitment to inclusivity, the school reserves vacancies in both teaching and non-teaching positions for impoverished, widowed and divorced women, and underprivileged men within the local community. May Pampor's impact transcends education alone, 
for it provides not just intellectual nourishment but also avenues for livelihood to talented individuals who find themselves unemployed and jobless. The presence of a few more schools like May Pampor would undoubtedly propel the Union territory of Jammu and Kashmir to unprecedented academic progress and intellectual prosperity. May Pampor is, indeed, a fabulous fountain of affordable quality education. History of May Pampor May Pampor has a rich history that dates back to before 1970 CE. Initially, the school operated from a rented property owned by Mr. Dean Mode Bande for a period of three years. However, thanks to the unwavering dedication of the management, faculty, and parents, the school managed to construct four classrooms on state land in 1974 CE. This marked a significant milestone in the school's journey. Under the able chairmanship of Mr. Dean Mode Bande, May witnessed remarkable progress by 1992 CE. The school expanded to 15 classrooms and extended its academic offerings up to the 8th grade, accommodating a growing student population of 400. In 1994, May Pampor underwent a transformative change under the leadership of Mr. Ali Mode Masoudi, with Mr. Bashir Ahmed Masoudi serving as secretary. This new managing body played a pivotal role in propelling the institute to unprecedented heights, which the school proudly boasts of today. Their tireless efforts bore fruit as May Pampor flourished and continued to grow. In 1996, the school achieved another significant milestone by upgrading to the 10th grade, offering education in 25 classrooms to a student body of 700. The managing body's dedication remained steadfast, and in 2002, May Pampor further expanded its academic scope to include the 12th grade. The school now boasted 45 classrooms and catered to a student population of 1,100. In 2008, May Pampor underwent a partitioning process that resulted in the establishment of separate wings for boys and girls. This restructuring facilitated a more conducive learning environment, and the school saw an increase in enrollment. With 75 classrooms, two large examination halls, and a growing student body of 1,500, May Pampor was thriving. Today, May Pampor stands as an institution with four expansive buildings that house over 120 classrooms. Its fleet of more than 25 vehicles ensures efficient transportation for its 2,500 students. With over 200 dedicated employees, the school continues to provide quality education and serve as the main center of learning at Saffron Town Pampur. May Pampur stands as a beacon of excellence, nurturing and shaping countless professionals across various fields. Its track record of producing successful doctors, engineers, advocates, and other professionals is no longer a secret. With consistent representation on merit lists of board exams, the Institute ensures academic excellence while also fostering achievements in co-curricular activities. Its students frequently win trophies in various sports competitions. Undoubtedly, May Pampur must be a source of immense pride for the people of Pampur and they should extend their unconditional support in every possible way to this institute of theirs. I admit that my words fall short in describing the greatness of May Pampur. The Institute's accomplishments are truly beyond measure. In conclusion, I extend my heartfelt congratulations to Afreen Shafi, Karat Al Farooq, and all the other outstanding students who achieved distinctions in the recent Class 12 board exams. I express my sincere prayers for the good health of the managing body and the dedicated employees of May Pampur. I pray that God Almighty protects this wonderful institute from every evil eye and keeps it progressing by leaps and bounds till eternity. The author lives at Leithpura Polwama. His books are available on Amazon, Flipkart, etc. He can be reached at Sahil Sharifed in English at gmail.com.